explained. I read the entire chapter to you. I explained to you. I'm sure you did not have any problems. If you have, please get back to me. If you need any explanation further. Uh, so today what we are going to do is, I'm just going to quickly revise the story a little and then we are going to start off with the, uh, the exercises, okay? So, what was the story all about? Children or the ones who remember, I'm sure you have read it, you have understood the story. So the story is all about the shark and the dolphin and where they used to stay, they used to stay near a sandy beach. The shark's name was Simon and the uh, dolphin's name was Dudley. He had two sisters, Dudley had two sisters. They used to play together, swim together and enjoy and take care of themselves. And the, uh, Simon, but Simon was very sad and lonely. He did not have any brothers and sisters and he did not have any friends and every day used to swim all by himself alone. He was very sad and grumpy, right? Now, next what happened and what was his favorite hobby? His favorite hobby was to attack Dudley and his sisters, right? And what he used to do, he used to wait for them and then when they used to come to play, he used to jump on them and bite their tail. But Dudley and his sisters always used to run away. Why? They used to be very careful because he was a shark and he had sharp teeth. Yeah. And then what happened? One day when Simon and Dudley, Dudley was swimming and Simon was chasing Dudley, they went near the shore and they saw something very strange. They saw footprints on the shore, right? And whose footprints were, were that? And they saw something very unique. And they were surprised to see a raccoon and a frog playing musical instruments. What was the frog playing? A banjo. I told you banjo is a stringed instrument like a guitar. And what was the raccoon playing? A fiddle. Fiddle means a violin and Mr. Alligator was dancing, right? Yes, and they were flabbergasted. Means they were surprised and shocked to see the entire scene, you know, with music and dance. And then what happened? They also enjoyed, they applauded, they flapped their fins and they also enjoyed. Then the show was over. The entire afternoon they were watching the show then when the sun started setting the show was over and then all the three uh, two musicians and the dancer who the frog the raccoon and the alligator went their separate ways means they went back to their house so where did the raccoon go the raccoon went to the beach the frog went to the swamp and the Alligator went into the rocks near the lighthouse, right? Then what happened? Then realization hit boom, Simon. Because he had no friends and was very sad. So when he was swimming back with Dudley, Simon thought he's going to share whatever he has in mind with Dudley and he told Dudley that he was very sad, he did not have any brother or sister, he was all alone, swimming all by himself and he needed a friend. And then next morning, what happened? Next morning, the sun shone brightly and when anybody would stand near the shore, they will see that Dudley and the shark was the shark? Simon, yes. Dudley and Simon and his two sisters were playing all together. They were swimming together, playing together and take care of, and taking care of each other. Right? So this was the story. And then finally, Dudley and Simon became best of friends. Right? So children 
friends are very important in life. Okay? So don't irritate your friends. Keep good friendship. Help your friends. And always be good. Okay? Right. Now, what we are going to do is, so this was the synopsis of the story. I just did the revision so that you know you can just uh, uh, start off with the um, we can start off with the exercises. Those who are, did not remember the story, it was just a revision, right? And please children, read the story properly, thoroughly. Learn the meanings from the book, okay? And today we are going to start off with this exercise. Let's do it together. Very simple. Page number, I'll just tell you. 31, 32, 33. Page number 33, this is the page. Page number 33A, we are doing this one. Okay? So please take out your book to page number 33A. Take out your pencil and let's do it together. Okay? Take the correct answer. So there are options given and you will have to choose from the correct option. Right? So, A number 1. Okay, I'll just give you some time. Open your book to page number 33 and we are going to do A. 33, page number 33, A. Right. Are you all ready now? Very good.
number, number six, thick fins. Right? So we are done with this exercise. Please, I'll give you some time to see. Do it, tick it, and then we are going to go to the next one. By now, I'm sure you have done it. So I'm going to rub the board and we are going to do spellings in our notebook. So children, before I rub the board, please take out your notebook and we are going to write the difficult words, okay? So please take out your notebook, write on top the dolphin and the shark, okay? And then we are going to start. By then I am going to put the box. So write in the first line the dolphin and the shark. And then we are going to write what G 
make a soft sound. Okay, that's called giggle. Platypus is a kind of an animal. P L A T Y P U S platypus. P L A T Y P U S platypus. Number seven. Creatures means any any living or imaginary which is living is called a creature. Anything living is called a creature. C R E A T U R E S creatures. C R E A T U R E S creatures. Wondering means thinking. R I N G wondering. W O N D E R I N G wondering. W O N D E R I N G wondering. Then shuffling. I told you making a noise when you walk some from somewhere. That's shuffling. S H U F F L I N G shuffling. S H U F F L I N G shuffling. S H U F F L I N G shuffling. Raggedy means dirty. Old. R R E G G R A G G E D Y R sorry children R A G G E D Y D okay now draw a line here and then go to the next column eleven what do we have eleven raccoon is a type of a of an animal I told you which looks like a fox. R A C C O O N raccoon number twelve. Fiddle fiddle is a violin. Okay, violin is also called a fiddle. So let's write fiddle. F I D D L E fiddle. F I D D L E fiddle. F I D D L E fiddle. Strummed. I told you in a stringed instrument like a guitar or a banjo where there are strings and you hold it like this and you strum it with your hand, you move the strings with your hand, it's called a strum. Okay? Strummed or strumming, okay? That's called a strum. So, strummed. S T R U M M E D. Next word. S T R U M M E D strand. Fourteen. Right? Okay. Flabbergasted. I told you what's the meaning of flabbergasted? Surprised and shocked. G A S T E D. Okay. 
Next word is applauded. Applauded means to clap and appreciate. Okay. A B B L A U D E D applauded. A P P L A U D E D applauded. Then trotted. T R O T T E D trotted. See applauded also you can break it up. A P P L A U D E D applauded. Right? Trotted. T R O T T E D trotted. T R O T T E D trotted. Occurred means happened. Seventeen. O C C U R E D occurred. O C C U R E D occurred. Okay. Brilliant. Eighteen. B R I L L I A N T. Brilliant means bright. B R I L L I A N T. Brilliant, right? Nineteen. Next word is alligator. I told you alligator is like a crocodile. Only it has a tapering mouth. It's an alligator, an animal. A L L I G A T O R. Alligator. A L L I I E. You can break it up. A L L I I E. G A G T O R T O R. Alligator. Okay. Though it's T O R, but we say alligator. We don't say alligator. Okay. We say alligator. Twenty glimpses. G L I M P S E glimpse. G L I M P S E glimpse. G L I M P S E glimpse. मतलब हल्का सा देखने को मिला. That's a glimpse. चल. Okay. Right. I'm going to give you some time. Write it down, children. Don't worry. I'm going to give a word file as well. I will upload in the group. Okay, so that you can write it down properly. Right now, I'm going to give you some time to write it from the board if you want to. I'm sure you can read, read the words. Please learn the spellings. Okay. Should I wrap the board and start off with the next exercise?
this draw a line with your pencil and a ruler and then start off with B. B. Please write word meanings. Please write word meanings. B word meanings. Okay. So number one. Creatures. What is the meaning of creatures? To a living that a living that that is real or imaginary that can move around. A living thing right comma real or imaginary I am a or I am a imagine that can move around comma that can move around is called a creature That can move around. It's called a creature. Okay? Anything that moves around. It can be real or it can be imaginary. Number three. Try to decide 
try to decide what is true, what will happen. Number six is glimpse. This is the last one. Glimpse. G L I M P S E. Glimpse. What is the meaning of glimpse? A very quick and not complete view.
these are the meanings of a few words which are not in the book. Book meanings you learn from the book. This you write in your notebook. Please don't write your book meanings in the notebook. Not required. It's in the book only. Don't do extra work. Okay? So please write it down. I'll give you some time to write. So children, I'm going to rub the board right now and show you what done the meanings, okay? And uh, you've written it down. I'm sure you don't have any issues with the meanings anymore. I've explained you properly. Even if you have any trouble understanding anything, please get back to me. I will try my best to, you know, explain it to you. Right. So let's do an activity. Now, see, there are two main characters in the story, right? What are the two main characters, children? The dolphin and the shark. Right? It is very simple. Cut it. 
कर दे पिक्चर आसपास से पिक्चर काट भी सकते हैं है ना ओके सो व्हाट यू डू मेक दीज टू पिक्चर्स एंड पुट अप रूलर फ्रॉम बैक एंड मेक अप पपेट व्हाट यू मेक अप पपेट नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस इन इंग्लिश आई वुड एक्सप्लेन दिस इन हिंदी सो दैट यू डोंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्या करना है एक ओल्ड नोटबुक लेना है ठीक है ये मेरा एक ओल्ड नोटबुक है तो मैंने ये लिया क्या किया तो मैं ये फाड़ दूंगी यहाँ से ठीक है क्या करूँगी पीछे वाला मैं फाड़ के रख लूँगी फिर क्या करेंगे एक ए फोर साइज पेपर स्टिक करेंगे ये लंबा वाला नोटबुक लेना पुराना ठीक है तो इसमें एक पेपर चिपकाना है ए फोर साइज का राइट चिप अच्छे से चिपका के थोड़ी देर रख देना है जब ये ग्लू सूख जाएगा तो क्या करना है फिर इसको आधा आधा काटना है ठीक है आधा काटना है एक में एक डॉल्फिन ड्रॉ करना है या एक में एक शार्प ड्रॉ करना है ये दो कैरेक्टर्स हैं हम लोगों के स्टोरी का ठीक है तो ये शार्प क्या होगा आप सिर्फ ड्रॉ भी कर सकते हो और पिक्चर भी चिपका सकते हो इट्स अप टू यू ओके तो ये करना है और एक रूलर पीछे से लगाना है और ये क्या है फोटो को ये स्क्वायर नहीं रखना है ऐसे ऐसे काटना है फोटो आज बात उसे है ना ताकि वो थोड़ा सा अच्छा लगे फिर एक रूलर चिपकाना है नीचे से लंबा ठीक है पिक्चर थोड़ा बड़ा बने है ना तो फिर अच्छा लगेगा ठीक है पहले ये एक्टिविटी करो ठीक है करके मुझे भेजो पिक्चर कि मैंने ये बनाया है और ये बनाया है ये दो कैरेक्टर्स फिर आगे क्या करना है मैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बताऊंगी ओके फर्स्ट यू मेक दीज टू पिक्चर्स मेक द पपेट इट्स अ पपेट ये पपेट है है ना तो ये पपेट बनाओ एंड देन अगले वीडियो में मैं बताऊंगी इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई मीन से What we will do with this puppet? Clear? Am I clear? I'm sure I'm clear. If I, you are not sure what to do, please get back to me. I will explain it to you. Okay? So, children, I end my lecture here itself. Thank you so much. Uh, stay home, stay safe, take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day.